According to the hypothesis, the universe we live in may not be the only one in existence. The multiverse hypothesis claims that there are actually an infinite number of universes, and they are all united into a multiverse. This concept may seem a little too fantastic, but if it turns out to be correct, then there are probably alternative worlds that may be very similar to the one where you and I live. Whether these other worlds might have twin planets to our Earth, and whether people like us or even copies of ourselves might live there remains a question that is difficult to solve scientifically. The likelihood that there is a similar Earth and a similar universe out there is quite high. Since the area of space we can observe is far from covering all of space, the concept of the multiverse belongs to several branches of physics, the main one being the theory of inflation. This theory considers events in the early moments of the universe when it was very young and its age was less than a second. Inflationary theory combines the ideas of quantum physics and particle physics. Mark Stigmack, an astrophysicist and cosmologist, suggested the mathematical universe hypothesis. This hypothesis states that any set of physical laws automatically corresponds to an independent and real universe. This assumption, although it cannot be experimentally tested, is attractive because it resolves the question of why the laws of physics and the values of fundamental physical constants are so perfectly tuned. The classification of worlds proposed by Mark Stegmack divides them into different levels, including universes beyond our visible space, universes with different fundamental constants and numbers of dimensions, parallel universes according to the interpretation of quantum mechanics and the ultimate ensemble, which includes all possible universes. Thus, there are a number of theories of the multiverse of different levels, including those that assume the existence of the final ensemble as the highest level of the multiverse, where all possible universes that can be mathematically described exist. Despite these theoretical concepts, the existence of twin planets and similar inhabitants of our Earth in other universes remains a great uncertainty. The possibility of traveling through space at the speed of light remains theoretical, and wormholes as a means to do so are still a theoretical construct. Thus, if there is a twin Earth, it is probably located at a great distance from us in an area inaccessible to modern means of observation. It is known that there is a problem of fine-tuning of the universe, which indicates the perfect tuning of the physical fundamental constants that define the basic laws of nature. This perfect tuning creates the conditions for the existence of life in the world. For example, if the mass of a proton were slightly lower, the formation of heavier elements would be impossible. However, this problem can be solved by using the multiverse model where there are many parallel universes with different fundamental constants that differ from each other. Thus, there is a possibility that there are many universes that may be similar to ours, or that may have patterns that are not conducive to the development of life and die quickly after their inception. For example, some of these universes may be contracting rapidly or expanding too rapidly, where the laws of quantum physics and the properties of matter may be extremely unstable or different from what we observe in our world. According to this hypothesis, the multiverse includes a large number of parallel worlds, most of which are unstable. Only some of them have the same settings as our universe, which makes it possible for them to exist for a long time and possibly facilitates the presence of intelligent life. This concept is based on the multiverse interpretation of quantum mechanics, which assumes the existence of many universes in different states, but in which the same physical laws, constants, and world constants apply. Thus, parallel universes represent alternative possibilities and different scenarios. 
In this concept, the number of worlds usually approaches infinity, given the variety of possibilities. According to this concept, universes can differ in the position of a single atom, or they can be absolutely identical. However, there are realities that may differ so much that it would take a long time to identify their similarities. All these worlds can exist in parallel, or they can emerge from some initial universe dividing into many variants of themselves. All this is a dynamic process where events occur with a certain probability, which can lead to different outcomes. It is important to note that even if different types of universes are combined into one multiverse and are different variants of the same world, they still do not have to have a direct causal relationship with each other. This method of solving the quantum problem was proposed by the American physicist Hugh Everett in 1957. It was he who formulated the multiverse interpretation of quantum worlds, according to which, when an object transitions from an indefinite state to a definite one, it splits into a number of probable states. For example, there is the famous case of Schrodinger's cat, where opening a box creates a universe with its own scenario. The cat can be either alive or dead. The universes are in parallel realities, where all possible states of the cat remain real, and none of them lose their existence. Each such world has its own space and time, and the destruction of one universe does not lead to a chain reaction of destruction of other realities that have arisen from it. This concept assumes the existence of completely independent worlds, i.e., worlds that are not alternative possibilities of the same structure and that are located in some kind of outer universe, similar to the way galaxies are located in the middle of the universe. This concept is sometimes called boiling because in the context of the existence of many worlds that are constantly being born and extinguished, the space in which they all exist may look like a colossal boiling water. In other words, this is a theory that fits perfectly with the hypothesis of the existence of the multiverse, and it is a chaotic theory of inflation. According to this theory, inflation does not happen once and end, but continues constantly in different regions of the multiverse. This theory allows for the possibility of existence in different universes with different elementary particles and laws of their interaction. Simply put, New bubble universes are emerging due to unstoppable inflation. We can imagine the multiverse as boiling water. Excess energy in this seemingly calm environment causes it to bubble and function in space and time, resulting in the formation of bubbles in the form of new universes. Some of these universes are too small and are contracting faster, while others are too large or expanding too fast. However, there are some that have the right conditions for the existence of stable matter, and in them, the physical laws favor the development of strong structures and connections. These universes eventually give rise to life and write their own history. The vast unknown world consisting of bubbles is the essence of the bubble hypothesis, which can be closely related to the Big Bang theory and is marked by the fact that our explosion, according to its terms, was not the only one or only one of many. According to this hypothesis, inflation does not occur at the same rate everywhere, and some universes may be robbing other universes that are also constantly expanding. In this scenario, each universe emerges with its own laws of physics, set of particles, arrangement of forces, and values of fundamental constants. This may explain why, in our universe, some concepts such as dark matter or the cosmological constant, are difficult to explain using fundamental physics. Many scientists have tried to find more convincing physical evidence for the existence of the multiverse. If our universe had a neighbor at some point in the past, it might have left a noticeable imprint However, such searches have so far yielded no concrete results, and the hypothesis of a multiverse remains just that, a hypothesis. 
Nevertheless, scientists do not give up trying to prove the existence of parallel worlds by studying special types of black holes. Some of them may be artifacts of those parts of the universe that appeared in the process of separation into our world and a parallel one, as a result of quantum and observational processes. In his latest work, physicist Stephen Hawking, in collaboration with a Belgian scientist, stated that the model of infinite inflation is wrong. Einstein's laws of general relativity break down at the quantum level. According to the famous scientist, space is not infinite, and everything has clear boundaries of size and structure. Nevertheless, Hawking paid great attention to the possibility of the existence of several universes, and he thought that they would be similar to each other. But the possibility of the existence of doubles in each of us according to the multiverse hypothesis is the most interesting. If there really is an infinite number of universes, then the patterns should be repeated. This could lead to the existence of exact copies of each of us watching the exact same video. The answer to this question remains uncertain, and whether the concept of the multiverse is correct or not remains a big question in science. Thank you for watching, dear friends. I would also like to express my deep gratitude to all the viewers and sponsors of my channel. Your kind words and support inspire me to create even more interesting content. Dear friends, I also invite you to watch another video where we will learn why aliens are hiding from us and why our world is an incredible simulation. Follow the link to the video. It will be very interesting. See you soon.